Okay, uh, this is the output LED just barely glowing. There's the full wave bridge of Schottky diodes. The white uh, leads there are the bifiler secondary, or the secondary of the bifiler coil. The blue leads are the primary. There's the two piezos in series. And there's the feed from the function generator. This, oops, sorry, this, this is not part of the circuit over here. Okay. And you can see that the two LEDs are just barely glowing, I guess. They look brighter in the camera than they do visually. Okay. Here, here I have some magnets. These are just ceramic magnets, refrigerator magnets. So let's see if this will actually work. So what's happening here is that the, um, the current through the coil from the function generator is not enough to completely saturate the core with the magnetic field. But as I bring in the field from the external magnet, it drives the core more and more towards fully saturated, which changes its impedance and changes the resonant frequency. And so I can move the light from the input side to the output side. You can make the output much brighter than both of the lights together just by moving the core impedance around. This is changing the permeability of the core, moving it around on its BH curve, biasing it, so to speak. All right. Thanks for watching.